Don't think the United States is a police state, or at least teetering on the edge? A fifth grader might disagree with you. 11-year-old Omari Grant of Henry County, Georgia, was building a tree fort in the woods behind his house with some friends when things took a frightening turn for the kids. A woman from a neighboring subdivision saw the kids chopping off tree limbs and felt compelled to call the police. When two Henry County police officers arrived on the tree fort building scene, they dealt with the situation in a bizarre manner. One of the cops already had his gun pulled and was pointing it at the kids and then proceeded to tell the kids to lay down on the ground and spread their legs. Grant also said that the cop used, quote, foul language towards them. When the woman who initially called the police was told about what happened, she said it's, quote, shocking to hear that a gun was pulled on a child, especially considered the woman called 911 out of concern for the children and the environment. Shockingly, no arrests were made, but Grant did come out of the experience with a new perspective on police officers, saying, quote, they're supposed to help you, not make you feel scared to even come outside. Grant's mother, Janice Baptiste, has filed an excessive force complaint with which the police department is ostensibly investigating. Why did that cop pull his gun when the woman who called 911 said she was worried about the children's welfare and the trees, not that the kids were harming anyone or breaking any laws? Was it because Grant and his friends are black? Was it because the cops were relayed the incorrect information about the situation? Was it because the cop had just come from an adrenaline-filled chase? Or was it because this cop was one of thousands of police officers across this country who are quick to pull their guns out and point them at people for no good reason and think they have the right to do that just because they are cops and feel they can do as they please?